pretty dense since your accident. Yeah, I wanted to play football again so bad I could taste it. Oh. Maybe go on to playoffs and... Oh, I know. I understand disappointment. I really do. Yeah. So, so I see a bright future ahead of you beyond fleeting interest in sport. What do you mean? Let me give you a clue. You're a natural born leader. You're one of the most popular students at Carver. You're straightforward and you don't crack under pressure. And we all saw that amazing fourth quarter you played against West Side. Now put that all together and what does it spell, Paul? Student Council President. Who, me? Nah, Mr. M. I, I don't know anything about that kind of stuff. And, you know, that's more Tracy's thing. She's always working so hard at it. And yeah, she's a real go -kick. She's super nice. Yeah, yeah. For one person, I'm sure. Undermines the whole idea of a democracy, don't you think? Mr. M. It's almost like a dictatorship, like we studied. Mr. M, there's... Paul, what's your favorite fruit? Pears. Okay, pears. Let's say... No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Apples. Okay, apples. I should say that you always get apples. Apples, apples, and more. Apples. You always eat apples. And even when you get a bad, bad apple, you still eat it. But let's say one day you come across an orange. Now you've got a decision call. Apples or oranges? That's a democracy. I also like bananas. Exactly, Paul. Now, now let's see if you can get something back. All right.